G'day legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, we are checking out the Soldano Super Lead Overdrive pedal. This has the same set of controls as the lead channel of the real world amp. It's got a depth switch here on the side. You've got your kind of typical input and output jack and a power supply on here. We're gonna dive straight into this and make some noise. Let's go. Let's dive straight in. I'm using my PV Wolfgang and I'm running the pedal into the Synergy TDLX module. That's going to a Synergy Syn 5050 power amp, a fractal X load, and then I am loading up one of my own IRs. They're linked in the video description if you wanna try them. It's based on a greenback cab with a couple of different microphones and I've added a tiny amount of plate reverb in post. I'll let you hear the sound with the pedal bypass, then we'll kick it in and we'll get some greasy tones. So there's a couple of sweet spots in there that I think I've found immediately. Generally, if you want to do the rhythm guitar, hair metal kind of thing that these sort of amps are renowned for, and I will admit, I was a little bit disappointed that this didn't come in like a faux snakeskin finish, but it does look pretty classy with the black text on the white casing. However, I'm getting sidetracked now. Uh, keeping the gain low, and then like the mid-range I find is pretty sensitive on this, so around noon with this particular rig works pretty well, but you can really, really bring it up and get more like that kind of modded Marshall thing, or you can bring it down and give it a bit more of that kind of chunky boogie style thing on there. And the presence control, I think really you use that to kind of fine tune the response of your amps. So if you've got a kind of dark amp, you want to crank the presence. If you've got something a bit brighter as a starting point, probably keep it low. There's also the deep switch on the side. So I'll start here with this kind of crunch and then I'll bring the deep in. And the deep to me, it makes sense on the side. It's a set and forget kind of thing. Again, you're gonna use it to kind of fine tune the response you want out of the amp you're running it into. <laughs> Thank you. 
probably get something even nastier out of this. This is my PRS SC245 in drop C. And I'll leave the deep switch in. I'm gonna back off a little bit of bass. We'll crank the gain and I'll bring some presence up at the expense of the treble control, kind of the way I would run, say, my Soldano Hot Rod 50. <laughs> end of the spectrum I'll let you hear some strat tones on this I'm going to live on the neck pickup this has some Sir Michael Landau signature pickups in it you can get some pretty sweet I'm not going to say low gain but I might say lower gain than we've been using <laughs> can go to the extremes with say the presence control cranked and the treble all the way down and vice versa. You get a very different character out of it, which is something I probably didn't expect out of this. I thought it would do that one sort of sound. And to be fair, like my Soldano Hot Rod 50, I basically use it for that one kind of sound, but this is a different animal being a drive pedal. And ultimately you do want it to have that extra little bit of versatility in there so that you can use it with different amps or to get different shades of tone out of the same amp. So I like that in there. <laughs> pretty cool it does get super super saturated I think there's more gain than anyone would ever want on this the other thing that I haven't played around with yet and I think it works well with just about anything you want to throw this at is how you balance out the volume and the gain control there I've kind of parked the volume where it's been roughly at unity gain but as you've heard in the lower range of the gain control you definitely get a brighter crunchier tone than you do as you crank it up it gets a lot smoother and a lot darker so I'm gonna crank the volume up a bit and back the gain up and we'll just kind of hear the difference there. <laughs>
last example while we're here, let's say that was the way you set this up with a clean app for your rhythm tone. I'm going to hit it with the Source Audio EQ 2 as a boost for a lead sound. We get this. <laughs> That is all for today. If you want to learn more about the Soldano Super Lead Overdrive pedal, it's linked in the video description. You can also follow a bunch of links there to support my channel. Let me know your thoughts on this pedal in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. What do you reckon? Is it time to play? I think it's time to play. Yeah.